Tony, Tina, you haven't seen a wolf, have you? There are no wolves in Cookie Village. See now, there are no wolves. Huh? Who are you talking to? Felicia. Hello, what are you doing in there? I'm frightened. She's frightened of everything. Storms are scary, the dark is scary, and now this wolf is scary too. <laughs> a wolf! Go on, Rabbit. You do what needs doing, and we'll deal with the wolf. So where's this wolf then? Oh! Wolf, where oh! are you? Wolf? He's in the tree! <laughs> hmm, yes. A tricky case. This calls for extraordinary measures. When Tony is in, Tina too. Tina, give me your hand. It's a wolf trap. If the wolf turns up, he's definitely going to want to eat the sheep. But the sheep are wooden. The wolf will break his teeth on them and run away. Great! See, Felicia? Now I've got nothing to fear from the wolf. Let's go home. Yay! Oh no! The sheep! Five and six and seven and eight. If you want to grow up big and strong, eat carrot pudding and you won't go wrong. One, here. two, uh -huh. three, I'm here. four, yes. five, That's six, Over here. seven. Felicia! <sighs> Tony! 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 Felicia! Felicia's gone! There's a wolf in Cookie Village! There's no wolf, Rabbit, remember? Let's go! <laughs> there she is! Over there! Felicia, we're coming! Don't be afraid! Oh, I'm not afraid. What are you doing here? Go on, have your supper and off to bed! I can't. I'm watching over the sheep. If that wolf comes for them, he'll get it from me! I don't think she'll leave without the sheep. Uh, I should have made the sheep from straw. Uh, they wouldn't be so heavy then. She fell asleep by herself, and in a storm like this. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tina. You've taught Felicia to be brave. You've got the sheep to thank for that, not us. Felicia was so afraid for them that she became brave. Good night, you two. Rabbit, could we stay the night with you? It's just such a terrible storm. <laughs> <laughs> Hacking the Essentials. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hacking is an art form. It's all about bringing only what we need. Nothing useless. Of course, so it's absolutely necessary to take... <gasps> Balloons! <laughs> I was thinking something more like this pail, so we can collect mushrooms. What if we find blueberries? That's a good point. I'll bring... A second bucket! Oh, I can't wait to go. We'll pick berries and mushrooms, and we'll have a feast. <laughs> but all of that, won't all that wear us out? We should also pack... The bed! 
Uh, how are we going to take that with us? Yeah. Tina? Duh. Well, duh, it's on wheels. Yay! <laughs> uh, you okay? And the boot as well. Of course we'll need that. Uh, what? Oh, that should be everything. Ready? Don't you think we're bringing too much stuff? I'm sure it will all come in handy. Ugh. It's time to go. Hmm. Guess we'll have to push it down. Please remind me why it was necessary to bring the bed with us. It's so we can take a nap when we get tired. I'm tired now. Phew. Already? We haven't even started mushroom hunting yet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Have a seat, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chop, chop now. Ooh. 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 Hmm. What do I do now? That's my last good chair. Huh? <laughs> Tina, <laughs> Tony, <laughs> come here a second. <laughs> Thank you both so kindly. <laughs> There. This goes here. That can't be that heavy, can it? Uh, ooh, uh, I know. Here. Uh, Does that help? I guess it's a little lighter. Uh. How's it going, Fox? Catching fish? Uh, there aren't any fish by the shore. If only I had some kind of... <gasps> a boat! Thank you so much! Now I can catch lots! These balloons are just annoying! I don't think... Ugh, we need them at all! You never know when you'll need them. Plus, they look super pretty. Oh, it's the rabbits! Hi, you guys! Hi, oh. Tina and Tony! <laughs> What's going on? Felicia's birthday. Ooh, super fun. Why is everyone crying? Well, Felicia got a balloon because it's her birthday. But now everyone else wants one, too. Let's see. <laughs> one cabbage cake coming right up. Yay! Blow the candles! Blow the candles! Blow the candles! <laughs> see? I was right. It all came in handy at some point. Not like your buckets. That we didn't Stop even right use. Stop right there! <gasps> huh? What? What's there? Huh? A mushroom. <laughs> That'll be our first one. <gasps> Another one. It's blueberries! <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to admit, your buckets came in handy after all. We really are good at packing for trips, aren't we? <laughs> A very happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Tina! Oh, we've all been saving together. Check out all that dough! You'd be set on ice cream forever and ever with that. With all that, we could all go to the carnival and ride rides. Hang on, it's my birthday present. Isn't it my birthday choice? <gasps> of course, it's your money. Right, you guys? Happy birthday! Time for me to pick what to buy. <laughs> and uh, all those. <sighs> this is the 
life. <gasps> It's too much. I don't think we can finish. If only our friends were here with us. Ooh, some balloons will be nice. Sure was a lot of them. Probably enough for everyone. But they were for my birthday, Tony. Let's go to the carnival. I want to ride it forever. Five tickets. Mm, wait, ten. money, but nothing makes me happy. This is the loneliest birthday ever. <laughs> Don't cry, Gina. Oh, hey, I've got an idea, you guys. How about we all play together? Well, it's your birthday, so it's your decision. I know that, but being alone is boring. Let's go! Yay! <laughs> one for you, and one for you, and definitely one for you. <laughs> to find a mushroom. Tina, it's raining really weird. Come look. <laughs> How can it be raining? It's sunny outside. Dunno, but look, the rain makes the mushrooms so glad. They grow extra fast when it's rainy and sunny at the same time. Hooray! We're gonna pick mushrooms today. my basket first with the most beautiful mushrooms I can find.
know picking mushrooms would be this hard. I thought I'd be super good at it. Don't feel down. Remember, there's still one thing you do better than anyone. What? Mushroom pie. Eat, don't be shy. Grab a slice, everyone. Hooray! Even though you can't find mushrooms, you're the best at making everybody happy. <laughs> a wiggly dilemma. Tooth. Is that all, Tony? I've had those a zillion times. Huh? Here. We'll use this. Are you scared? Uh, One, two, three. Oh! Uh, uh. Let's try something else. Don't be so scared. Look at me. I'm not afraid of a thing. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Whoa. Oh. Still there? Yup, still wiggly. Oh. So, if we can't pull the tooth out, that means... Then we'll just have to stick it down. Uh, what? I bet we can stick it back down with something sticky, like... Ooh, like jelly! Yum, jelly. Dig it! Hum. I like this plan. I better help for moral support. Hum. Hum. Whoa, I guess we're all out. Oh man, I really could have used some more. Oh. I'm sure there's more. This one's sure to help you. Nope. We're officially out of jelly. Hmm? Clever mouse dentistry? That's where you should go. I'm scared, too. There's no reason to be afraid of doctors. Not at all. Dentists, no way. Nothing scary at all. I'm always this brave. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Baby teeth fall out now and then. They're making space for big grown-up teeth. I'm not afraid of the dentist. All my teeth, my baby teeth fell out. No problem at all. Open wide, please. Mm. Don't be afraid. I'm only taking a peek. Oh. I see. Some hippo needs to floss. We'll start with the cleaning. One moment. Mm, yes. That one simply won't do. That's not what we need. Oh! The perfect size toothbrush. Oh! Come on, let's open wide. Oh! <laughs> ah, ah! My 
tooth came out with no pain. Wonderful job. Thanks a lot, Dr. Mouse. Don't you want to check up while you're here? Please sit. Uh, you know, uh, I, uh, have a thing I have to do. <laughs> you're afraid too? Why didn't you say? Uh, the truth is, I'm really afraid of this stuff. At least you're brave enough to admit it now. I'll never boast like that again. That I promise. I'll be the most honest, more than anyone. The most honest in the world. Okay, we get it. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> A not so still life. <laughs> All done. Wait, what? Is this supposed to be me? Since when do I have 12 arms? That's only six at most. Well, fine. But you kept moving around. I know. Hm. How about we stop drawing portraits and instead do landscapes? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. What's that? A landscape just means we paint the outside. Why do we need to go to a tree to draw? Ugh. I remember how trees look. I'll imagine a tree, like that one. Or like that one. Any imaginary tree. That's not the point, Tina. These drawings aren't supposed to be imaginary. Landscapes are drawing what's real. Trees are the perfect thing to draw. They're still. They won't move around while you draw. It's great, huh? So which of these trees will be our subject? Maybe a pine tree or an oak. Or, huh? The apple tree! So, how does one start these? Uh, landscapes? It's simple. Just paint exactly what you see. Hmm. Ah. First you paint the branches, then the leaves. And under those tasty apples, make sure to get the bark stripey. Oh, what's that? What are you doing? What does it look like? I made a bear. What's a bear doing there? Nothing. He's having a good time. I mean, why did you draw a bear? You told me to draw what I see. And over there, I happen to see a bear. Ugh. Am I supposed to draw the ice cream penguin too now? Actually, both of my subjects are leaving. Now there's nobody to draw. That's why you should draw just nature and trees. They never go anywhere at all. They always stay in one place. You forgot that nature also has very bouncy rabbits. Look at them hop. Oh, look. There goes the rest of the apples. <laughs> Did you at least manage to draw the apples while they were still on? Yep. Now I have to erase them. What a pain to do. I'm not finished yet. I wasn't trying to look anyway. So now that the apples are inside the bear, how do what? I draw them? You don't. I told you. Only draw what you see. I see rabbits having a really bad day. That's just heartbreaking. Focus on your painting. Hey, Bear's back. He brought the ice cream with him. I'm not even gonna try drawing the ice cream. That'll disappear immediately. Huh? Now the penguin disappeared too. This is turning out to be a very interesting subject. <laughs> Whatever Bear is doing, it looks like fun, right? Well, there they go. Now to focus. This tree just needs a few finishing touches on the branches and we'll be all... Hey, what's going on? Huh? Huh? You. All done. You're done? Show me. Well, it's not very realistic, but it's okay. Don't feel bad. Not all landscapes can be as realistic as mine what is. on earth? Where's the tree? Didn't have room for it. 
No big deal. Nature is tough. Next time we'll try Impressionism. Space secrets. Get me off this planet, said Bubba. Do you even have a spaceship, said the captain. I can build one, said Bubba. We'll come find you when you're done building one. And meanwhile, keep hiding our secrets. 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 Tony, let's go for a walk. Oh, not now. I'm sleeping. Sleep? It's daytime. Uh, sorry. Maybe later. It's very important. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Hi, Penguin. Afraid it's only me today. Farewell, Broken TV. It only played the Snowstorm Channel. And that was boring! Huh? The whole thing's gone! Moon cable, but it's broke. He can't. We gotta catch this guy. You win? Uh, well, I would, but I have very urgent gardening. Oh, the uh, uh... nope. <laughs> hmm. Let's see what he needs. A bike. Uh huh. I'm sure I'm tired of my old bicycle. Ugh, wish someone would take it off my hands. Huh? Huh. <laughs> oh, ah! huh. I got you now, you sneaky Tony. What are you doing down there? Give me your hand. Lending me this bike is really cool. I'll just finish my spaceship and join the ranks of the huh? captain. You're leaving for space just like that? And me? Uh, you... You can come as well, since we're friends. But don't tell anyone at all, because it's the secret of the captains. I'm the best at keeping secrets. Oh, hi, Piglet. Uh, Wanna come uh, to space with us? I you wanna go! <laughs> but it is a secret, right, Tony? Not now. It's not a secret now. Yes, it is. Just a little less. It's all ruined. Now the huh? space captains won't come. Wait, come back! Just go play without me. Bubba waved despondently as the captains flew away. Since he had built his own ship, Bubba was now one of their ranks. And like that, he was ready for takeoff. Looks like my spaceship is ready to go to. I'm a space captain. Huh? If they're not coming now, can, can we go for a walk instead? We think it'd be fun. You're all right on time. Would you like to be a part of my spaceship crew? We are going to space. Yeah! <laughs> I feel bad for not keeping your secret. I was just so excited. Secrets are hard to keep. Yeah, I know they are, especially ones as cool as this one. Plus, we're our own band of space captains. Yeah, we have our own secrets. Prepare for liftoff. Three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> The compass. <laughs> gotcha. Wow. <laughs> what happened? Ow. Penguin is going to the South Pole for his granny's birthday. So we're getting together some things we'll need for the journey. <laughs> the South Pole. I need to give Penguin something very important. Too. 
Yeah. Tina, what's all that for? Well, Penguin might want to listen to the radio with his granny. Or make pancakes. What's it going to do with your little saucepan, though? It's not a saucepan. It's a compass. A tool that keeps you from getting lost on journeys. It's just what Penguin needs. Let's go. Leave all that. Wait! Here we go. A scarf. A scarf will definitely come in handy for him. I know it in my heart. Come on, Tina. Where's Penguin? He left very quickly. His granny's birthday must be very soon. He's gone? To the South Pole? Alone and without a compass? But he'll get lost. Oh, no. Penguin will never make it to his granny's. I have to catch up with Penguin and give him the compass. Oh, no. This way. I'm coming with you. Tony's in, Tina too. See how useful a compass is, Tina? The arrows show you where north and south are, so we'll know which way Penguin went. We'll know where he went even without a compass. This way first. There we go. Not this way. Stop. The compass says it's that way. Well, your compass is lying. Precise instruments like this never lie. Okay, then. Tony and Tina are in it together. It's pulling me! A magnetic rock face! Wow! That's what threw the compass Precise off. Precise instruments never lie. They just make mistakes. Ah! Look! Penguin's balloon! Something happened to Penguin! Why would you think that? He just lost one of his balloons. I know it in my heart! Come on! Ha! Ha! In fact, we're already saving you. But how? Tina, your scarf! There you go. With the compass, you'll find your way to the South Pole. No problem. Wow. He's going dead south. He will find a way to his granny's, all right. He knows it in his heart. Oops, it looks like we lost the way home. What does your heart tell you? My heart tells me... Use a compass. Great <laughs> advice. Hooray for following your heart and for precise instruments. So, which way is north and which is south? Tony? This, Tina, is my chiming travelator machine. But it isn't finished yet. Ah. Oh, wow. Huh? Hey, Tony! I have no idea what that means. But let's finish it right now. I can't now, sadly. Mouse needs her book back right away. She doesn't need it now. Yes, she does. It's very important to her. That's why I promised I would bring it back as soon as I was done. Tony, why not let someone else take it to Mouse? Like, uh... Ah, Bear can do it. I shouldn't, though. I'm sure it's fine. Give me that. Hi, Bear. You're not... Busy by any chance, are you? Can you take this book over to Mouse? Tony would do it, but he can't because he's got a chiming alarm. Huh? Oh! Thanks, Bear. You're the best. 
It's all taken care of. Wow. Watch this here. Are you kidding? Uh, hey, uh, Mouse needs this book. Can you bring it to her? Tony has a, a change your rollator thing. <laughs> Thanks, you're the best. <gasps> hey, over here! Hmm? Uh, hey, I need a favor! Mouse needs this book. Also, Tony has a danger roller. <gasps> Go on, be off! And just a minute! Ah, hurry! Something happened to Tony! What happened? Danger fall? Or something? <gasps> Brought your book also. Urgent medical care! <gasps> What's going on? Tony's in bad shape! <gasps> I'm coming! What's going on? We <gasps> have to save Tony! Oh, hurry! Almost got it. Just about one second. Oh. Tony, what's happening? We're coming for you. <laughs> Get him on the stretcher. Oh, oh, we'll help oh, you. What? Stop struggling. Oh, it's okay. We'll save you. You're doomed. But don't panic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't you worry. I'll finish your machine in your memory. Goodbye. Goodbye, Tony. <sighs> Why on earth did you dress me up like a mummy? I was busy with something. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Bear said so. Oh, dear. But, uh, a book? Yeah, you should have just given Mouse the book. And we got all confused. Hey, Tony, the book is back. Oh, goodness. You have to just do things yourself. <laughs> I apologize, and here's your book back. Thanks a lot, Tony. No problem. Everyone, check this out. I present my charming travelator. Go on, start it up. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Two packs. the crabs. Wow, we I'll come with you. Tony? Tina? Which path leads us to the river then? This, this one. one. And which one is better? This, this one, one is, is better. better. Mine is better because it's shorter. Mine is more interesting. So which should we take? Both. Exactly, Tina. That's the only way we'll know which path is better. See you at the river. Oh, what a wonderful meadow. Oh. Berries, yummy. Uh, such a shame that Tony isn't here. Hmm. He likes berries too. Here we are. We're first, which means our path is better. I wonder, how far is Tina? A ship sailing by. That's a carrot. And that's a carrot. And another one. I'm hungry. That cloud looks 
looks a bit like Tina. Tony, look what I can do. <clears throat> She's been gone a long time. <laughs> I see mushrooms. Oh. <laughs> Tony? Hmm, I'm not sure. I'd like some berries, too. And the Twitwoo Echo! So we'll go back along your path. Looks like it's better, Tina. Looks like all paths are good paths, Tony. Together is best! <laughs> <laughs> Not my day. Oh well. So it's not your day. Never fear. I'll be Helga and slightly horrible, and you steer the ship. We'll play Vikings. Huh? I don't know. The way things are going, I think I'd better stay on land. That's no fun, though. What are we supposed <sighs> to do on a day like this? Absolutely nothing. To make sure I don't ruin anything else. But that's so sad. It's more fun to go out. No, Tina. I keep breaking things today. We can just play in here. It won't be that boring. <laughs> well, I'll just go play with the piglets. Mm. Uh, uh. Hey there, Piglets. Want to play Vikings with me? Yeah, that sounds fun. Sounds all right. Tell us more. We sail the oceans in a long boat and do whatever we want. Let's go, all aboard. <sighs> Begin rowing, and I'm commanding this vessel. Ugh. So there's still no land yet? <clears throat> Come on, we're just supposed to keep rowing? Oh, there, new <clears throat> land up ahead. <clears throat> Elephantasia. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Anchor 
chairs down. <sighs> but we just got here. We discovered this new island. This is Pig Island. That's right. And you're not our captain. That's how it is, huh? That's mutiny. It hurts my feelings. Oh, no. Tony. Tony. Uh, hey, I'm back. Uh, how was it? Oh, playing Vikings with the piglets? I guess it wasn't my day either. Wow, the moon is really pretty tonight. You're right. It looks like one of those long ships Vikings use. Raise the sails, anchors away. All aboard, Viking crew. Full speed ahead. Let's set course for the Constellation Hippo Miner. Yes, Captain. Maybe it wasn't our day, but there's always nighttime. Gifts for, for Santa. Santa. Aha! Oh, hey, it's just you. Morning, Tina. Come with me. I can't right now. I'm waiting for Santa Claus. But I've been thinking, um... Whoa, that's a lot of sweets. What's the occasion? Santa always gives away presents, but he gets none. So I got these for him. I hope he likes it. That's interesting. You're right. He does give them, but we don't give anything back. Let's go give it to him. One right, one, here, one, one right here, one right here. Like this, this looks one. good. Okay. Pretty. Now this tree's sweet. Hmm. Seems like something's missing. Like the other half of the tree. I have more candy at my house. So many, like a million. Come on. Tony, what if we're too late and we miss him? No, we're good. Cause Santa only comes after we're asleep. Well, I won't go to sleep. I'll stay up and wait, and when he comes, I'll say, Hi, Santa, you're the best. But can you come more often, please? Like in the summer, we'll throw a big party for you. Maybe in the huh? best the best in the lucky time. time. Uh -huh. Amazing. So much candy. So we really did miss Santa. That's kind of strange, <gasps> though. Uh, uh, it seems he forgot. You and I entirely. Or he just hasn't come to our house yet. He comes at night when we're asleep. Let's go. One thing I don't get, if Santa comes at night, why do he give to the rabbits in the middle of the day? The rabbits are little kids. They take naps in the afternoon. No, see? He must have been here because he took our gifts for him. Why else would they be gone? Hey, that's unusual, Tina. Since when does Santa have teeny tiny feet? Huh. And there's not one set of prints, but two. There were two miniature Santas, oh. and we missed them both? Over there! Mm -hmm. Look, that's the tree right here! That's where we left the candy! Where are they Did now? Did they run out? I want They're candy! Out. Look here, we took them down oh. first for you! Oh, oh, candy. Oh, candy. Oh, yummy! My favorite! What did you get? A chocolate bar! I got toffee! Tell them we left out for Santa. I think it's for them. No, it's okay. And see, they're all so happy. Ah, that Santa sure is a great guy. Always giving candy. Well, he's left with none. None at all? Huh? That's not yeah, fair. Yeah, we should get Santa something. Something totally perfect. I want to get him something. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Santa. I hope you'll like it. I wonder if Santa will enjoy all the things we got hmm. him. I didn't even think to ask if Santa knows how to ride a bike. The <gasps> oh, sky oh, is so, so pretty. Wow. Amazing. Look at all the colors. Huh? Santa Claus! There he goes! Santa, come back! We need to tell you something! <sighs> I guess we missed him. It's okay. He'll always be back next year. Oh! There's presents! Huh? huh? Hooray! Presents! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> A telescope! Oh, what is mine? <laughs> oh, arrows! Ah, boots! I'm so happy! <laughs> Here. Oh, 
here. To the lovely children, the best gift for me is you being good the whole year. Merry Christmas. Please be good. Love from Santa Claus. You're the best, Santa Claus. How to rescue rescuers. <laughs> There's a hole here. Watch out, Tina. Uh -huh. Tina, are you okay? The cat's fallen into a trap. See, Tony? I see. You need to watch where you're going, Tina. But can I rescue the cat if I'm looking where I'm going? And who's going to rescue you while you're rescuing the cat? Don't worry, Tony. Rescuers don't need rescuing. I'll do it myself. Come here, birdie. are better than one. Right, Birdie? Huh? Ah! 